Hey guys, um, sorry for not having, having made a video in a long time. Um, I made a few videos, um, but they all, something happened with my sound where you couldn't hear me. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't happy with them. I made a video about this, and I'll bet, which came in a little bit later. Um, and that also, something happened with the audio and the video, it just was, wasn't good. So, this will be just be more of an unboxing. It's not like, um, it's not the first time I've seen it or run it, but, um, I'll still make a video on it just because it's a really cool little model. As you can see by the label, it's a Denver Rio Grande K28. Um, Denver and Rio Grande had four batches of 282s. So, at the K27, which had 27,000 pounds of tractive effort, and was built by a different company than this. Uh, this is like the outstanding, because it was built by a different company than all the others. Um, and fun fact, um, in World War II, these were actually selected by the U.S. Army to help uh, do stuff in Alaska because the K-27s were worn out and then the K-36 and K-37, which were the newer and much bigger version, uh, those were too big. So there's only two of these left because the U.S. Army took eight and didn't really maintain them and just kind of wore them out. But they still do run these, I think, on the Durango, Durango and Silverton. Um, you can see, uh, here's, the, here's the original paperwork. Uh, I, haven't really, I haven't really seen something like this, packaged locomotives. I mean, I guess it works, but just interesting. Um, this locomotive does not have brake shoes, but it doesn't really matter on an HON3 engine, just because you, especially on a, a outboard frame. Here is the tender. Um, the doghouse is actually pretty high up, but you can see, even th even though there is tarnish, still very nice little tender. Um, I am going to put DCC and sound in this, so uh, yeah, I'll have to drill up the sound holes. I'll have to see if a tsunami two fits in here. Well, I don't know if it will, so I may have to use a one amp decoder. Just because the tsunami two might be too big. At the tw two amp, sorry. And then here is the locomotive. Here it is. Something interesting is, as you can see, on all the other uh, Denver and Rio Grande two A twos and HO and HO animal that are narrow gauge. They all have counterweights on all the drivers, on all the axles. This one only has counterweights on the middle one, which is something, I mean, it kind of took me a while to notice, but yeah. Uh, I put a little can motor in there. Runs really well. Uh, but you can just see like all the detail. Like even though this engine, even though this engine is from like 1967, 1968, it's still very well detailed. I mean, Beautiful. Um, I am going to do the um, Pullman Green boiler on this. So, if you don't know what that is, like, from here to here, it's green. I mean, like, the boiler. Yeah, you have to mask all this off, I think. Like, all the running board and stuff is on here. It's black. But, you have to, but then you have to paint all the piping black. But, um, I mean, I use... Uh, scale coat paint to paint that stuff, but one like to paint the boiler and stuff. But I found you you cannot wipe that up once you mess up. So I just use Tamiya paint now to do all that little detailing, and then it doesn't stick since it's a water based paint. Uh, I actually have a little another something. Um, these are not um boxed, but I got a bunch of. Got a few 
uh, Soho ba uh, Soho H O N three passenger cars. So you can see this is the single door baggage car. This actually has a light power unit, which is like a little gas diesel generator that powered lights in there. And these are a little bit harder to find. But as you can see, it's a very nice coach. It's not like it's not like extremely detailed. It's very basic, but simple, and it's still really nice. And I really like the cars, uh, so I bought them. But these are built, I don't know, in the 1960s by KMT. Um, I know OK Drews know who KMT is, but KMT was a big brass builder. Um, they were in Japan, and they were very prolific in HO gauge. They made hundreds, they made tens of thousands of rolling stock, like passenger, like pieces of rolling stock, like passenger cars, freight cars, cabooses. They made everything. But uh, here is just another coach, and I got one of these is a CNS uh, Colorado and Southern coach, but I'm just going to paint it. Because I got a really good deal on these, and I mean, as you can see, it's not really much of a difference on these, you know. Like, I mean, it's just like the details different, so it kind of looks like they were built at different times, you know. But then you have this one. You know, it's a, it's a nice it's a nice car it's a nice car it's a nice train. Sorry. Um. So. The, I'm not going to be able to like run this around the layout because I don't have a layout, but I do have a test track, so I'll run it around a test track for you when I get there. Thank you, guys. So, there's not going to be any running of that exact K, uh, K28 um, or the passenger cars. Um, I was I've been pretty busy recently just with uh, work and projects sticking up, so... Before I got to take a chance to make a video of this running, I had to take it apart to paint. Um, so up coming next would just be some running of a different K28 and Owen 3 scale, but I thought it'd be good enough. Um, yeah. You guys had a wonderful holidays and we're looking forward to a good new year um i got some exciting stuff coming uh in 2024 so stay tuned um make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one bye